Hello and welcome to a new episode. Today we will talk about religion and what the word really means. I go now to the dictionary definition of a religion. This is not the one that has been held by a majority of the atheists. A specific fundamental set of beliefs and practices general agreed up by a number of people or sects. By this definition, so I am always say all forms of people's actions are a kind of religion because like Mark Twain in his The Lowest Animal um, paragraph say Man is the religion's animal. He loves the only animal who of the true religion and dozens of them. He loves his neighbor like himself and got his throat when he is Physiology is not straight. His fictional belief system is not straight. And in the end, it falls between wars and compens. He cleans his hands and talks with his mouth about peace, compassion, and peace. If he was talking about carnism. And religion. Only then one very cruel one. Also one that we most likely today called one cult. Or must I better refer to it as a sick cult. Because cults come from the word culture. And that is one calm and as one as interchangeable with the word society. And a culture uh, means that something has to benefit, uh, make it more civilized or more humane. So, I will call it the sick cult. If you want to know my video, check out my video about uh, what the cult is. Um, I've a lot of time ago uh, make a video about that. But I want now to talk about this. It is indeed true that atheists and some other non theists religions are not believe in a God. But here we will all make a difference between theistic religions like Christianity, Islam or Judaism and non-theistic, atheistic, don't believe in God religions like Buddhism and Taoism. I have no believe in a god, spectacular, not in the Western sense of it. And there are also some other Asian religions, how I've known a belief in a god or gods. Politics is, if you ask me, one of the most newest religions. People fight with each other on their political ideology. Ism. Have you ever noticed or understand what one ism means? This one philosophy, ideology, or religion? Maybe can it be that at least two of them are interchangeable? 
religion and ideality. I guess. And can it not be that since anything in Western society can be seen as one well religion? I will. There are people who use this kind of logic in debating that science is, for example, not a religion. Yes, it is not a theistic religion, but it is still based on hypotheses and on theories and theories and things considered facts. Yes, I will agree on the fact that, in many ways, science is the most um, is the thing that comes the most close to what, what reality is and what um, you maybe cannot call a belief system, even anything can be seen in some way as a belief system, just like anything can be seen as a religion. Until there is absolute proof of on theory, and we don't can deny any part anymore from it, it can still be seen as a religion. For example, all the theories that we have about the cosmos we have now proved that they are true. Yes, we can say they are most likely true. But nobody has ever go, for example, in a black hole and check out if it be in one warp hole or that it uh, destroy anything that go in it or something like that. I don't will say that. That means that it is not true, but we have not absolute fact. Um, we have not absolute proof that Hawking radiation exists. It is only a theory, or must I say, a hypothesis. And I will also make a difference between organized religion, like the majority of the religions, people. Um, there are atheists uh, called religions, for example, Christianity, um, some kinds of Buddhism, um, Hinduism, and all the other Abrahamic religions. Um, Abrahamic religions are like um, the of Christianity and Islam. Uh, Catholicism and Jewism that are organized religions um, but you can still have a religion with one person uh, with one uh, with a group of people four people maybe and you can even call it technically a religion the state will most likely call it a cult just like they're on the begin um, Called signs are called, and there, yes, the Greeks are also called anybody who don't speak the language. Uh, barbarians, just for another topic maybe, but the Greeks also called people like um, Pythagoras a cult, and uh, were bullshit uh, shitting on his stuff and uh, saying that he uh, worshipped numbers. <laughs> And that his gods were uh, numbers. There are a lot of stupid shit that the Greeks make up about Pythagoras or Samos. I was most likely one of the first um, Greek philosophers who introduced animal rights in his philosophy in the Western world. Around 500 for Christus. As long as man will be the brute, 
as long as man will be the ruthless destroyer of other living beings, he will not find help or peace. Indeed, who say the sage of murder and hate will not find help or peace. Carnism is a cruel religion. Like I say, it is first part of this video. Because carnism caused suffering to other living beings. There's an arrogant belief system. An arrogant ideology that convinced people that it is okay to pick and choose to be to be kind and to which to be kind. Be kind to dogs, be kind to cats, but not to pigs and not to cows. Be kind to guinea pigs, being kind to your pets, but screw the turkeys. Not that of our species. He was thinking about that. Be kind to rhino horns, they deserve to be protected. But be not kind to the air and shoot them like trophies. And then the people become so psychotic that they also become serial killers themselves. Like the Zodiac killer, say, in his own words, killing people is so much fun. There's even more fun than killing wild animals in the forest. Because man is the most dangerous animal. Can it be that we are not the most smart creature on this planet, but that we are the most delusional? That we are the most myopic and close minded. Our anthropocentrism, what do this to us? Anthropocentrism, the mindset that we only matter and that nature are only viral because we are exist. That is totally. And I repeat, totally moronic. Nature was here long before us, and it will be better to it if we are disappearing. This whole world belongs not to us. This whole world belongs to the animals. There's not one planet of one species, as many as us is so insanely believe with our anthropocentric religion and we are created to be caretakers of this planet as we are being stewards of earth let me not laugh even a worm is more of a steward than us if you look it with an open mind and B is more of a steward than us Yes, indeed, even dirt beetles are more of a steward than us. Without them and other insects and beetles and other small creatures, this world will be full of shit. And not only full of our shit wars of our mouth, that come out of our mouths, but <laughs> man is the only religion animal. He is the only one with a true religion. A couple of dozens of them. He is the only one that loves his neighbor like himself. They cut his throat when his theology is not straight. When his religion is not straight. To his. He do his honest best to <laughs> to 
to bring his fellow man to happiness and to greatness. By cutting the straws of disbelievers. Or like the politicians believe to let them starve. Let them let we steal all this, anything from them. And in the intervals between campaigns, the man of this planet, mankind, so called, I uh, so like act to call it, hominids, clean their hands and talk with their mouth about peace, compassion, and decency. Stop being full of shit, people. With vegans, if you call veganism a religion, if that can be by your standard, or would a religion be, then man, uh, it is a pretty good religion. One that encourages to look things from the victim's point of view. One that don't protect the victimizers, but tr tries to to protect the victims. One religion of empathy, a religion of altruism, and not one that live by might make right. The strongest. This world is not one world of survival of the fittest. With an absolute hundred percent. Judgment. Many animals on this planet are altruistic. Far more than we are. Elephants, for example. And hippos. Many other animals as well. They live in a symbiotic relationship. A symbiotic relationship is supposed to benefit any party not only one there is no benefit thing factor that the other animals on this planet not even the animals that we are force feed and inseminate and turn to mean commodities there's only one beneficiary in this situation it is called slavery. The pigs they don't bring fat from us. The chickens don't benefit from us. For them there in, in existence. The turkeys don't benefit from us. The chickens don't benefit from us. The cows don't benefit from us. No one of them benefits from us commodifying them. And turning them in commodities and place them in far too small spaces and then killing them when they're actually being just toddlers or babies. Pigs are killed when, when they are a half year. Pigs can live up to 15 years like some kinds of dogs and pigs are more intelligent than toddlers. Do you think that it's okay to uh, torture and commodify people who stay their whole life on the, naive, on the level of a torture? torture? And that's by our standards of intelligence. I am very much interested how we score on the intelligent test if he was designed by a wheel, for example, or a pig. We don't can smell the things pigs smell. Maybe they think we are inferior. Because we cannot smell so good as pigs. <laughs> or they think we are inferior because we are less kind 
and forgiving aspects. Maybe the last aspects are correct. At least that's how it seems. The Elf Vegan was excused for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet. 